Okay, welcome back to Master Carpenter series. And this is part three of our series dealing with bastard hips, mixed pitch, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this is part three. So let's look at this, y'all. Now, we, we got our common length. And we got the common length height from here to here. And remember, this line right here, I want to make sure that you guys understand this, where I'm coming from. I want you to get a good visual of what I'm doing here. All right? So this line right here, this imaginary line right here, imaginary level line is actually... It go, you see that it goes to the top of the rafter, right? The top of the rafter. You see? It, that represents this mark here and this mark here for the 712 and the 1212 common rafters. All right? Now, some of you guys are going to say, okay, I, I get that. But some people don't get it. So that's the reason why I'm reiterating this. Now, the other thing that we're going to do, now that we got the length for how far the hip is measured from this king common and i guess I've, i gotta go i gotta show you this too in a much more a much greater detail so you can get this down at pet as well just bear with me for a moment I have various graphs and stuff here to help me. So let's say now you see you see right here. Let's put these side by side. You see right here, this rafter is the 1212 rafter. This rafter represents this rafter. This rafter is the hip or valley. Well for for this one it's gonna be a hip. This hip here represents the center, this line here. And I got 812 here, but let's just say 712. This is another common rafter, and it goes here. So if you're looking down on the framing of how this goes, and so I, I just want to show you the, uh, the line orientation, my reference line here, and their orientation as if you were family roof now you can see that I lightly sketched out the other side of the roof which is the other side of the hip and the other side of the King common for the 712 in this case for this case I know I have 812 here but let's just say a 712 now this center line right here we got a center line right here I want to show you something I want you to know how I'm measuring these. There's a line that goes right up the center, an imaginary line that goes right up the center of the hip. That line actually is this line. Now, this line here represents this inside line. You see that? So it's this line. It's not this one, and it's not a center line. That's why this one don't have a center line on it. So this line right here represents this line, this side of the 1212 rafter. So in order to get your 11 and basically 7 eighths, 11.81, you're going to butt your tape or you're going to you're going to you're going to find the center of your uh, span for your 12 12 side and after you find your center you go three quarters of an inch each way and that's an inch and a half that equals the width of the rafter okay and then after you do that you get your three quarters of an inch from three quarters of an inch on all the way out which is 11.81 which is 11 and 7 eighths that's how you know where the center the center of your hip is going to go. Not the side. The center of your hip is going to go on the 12 12 side. Because on a on a on a pitch like this with a 712 on this side and the 12 12 on this side, 
the hip is going to sit on the same plate height as the 12 12 not the lower pitch is always going to sit on this side with the higher pitch so i just wanted to get you and so all my measurements all my measurements for all my rafters are coming from this point right here but i'm going down the side of the 12 12 and i'm going down the side of the 7 12 but on the hip I'm going right down the center of the hip to get the measurement that's very important now yeah that's very important to have an accurate hip let me just say that so now that we got that out the way and that's understood if you have any questions let me know write me contact me email me whatever you have to do and uh and i will answer any question that you have now now that we have the length so now look at this y'all i want you to look into this drawing here and you can see that there's a triangle here we know we have solved for this side of the triangle because that side of the triangle is the run for the 1212. We know we have solved for this side of the triangle because this is the plate run that the jacks are going to set on. Okay? The jack rafters going to sit on. Some people call them jacks, somebody some people call hip rafters whatever. You know, different terminologies. So now this is easy here. All we have to do is do the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this line length. The run for the hip. That's all we have to do is do the Pythagorean theorem. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to do this. I, I want to make sure you guys can see this calculated, the numbers on this calculated. So we got point. Let's see. Let's go recall. Recall one. Okay, that this number is already in the calculator. So what we're going to do is square this one. And we press this button to square it. Then we plus 0.984. Plus 0.984. And we square that number. Then we press the equal sign. Then we press the square root sign. And now we've just found out how long the run is for the hip. You see that? So, just a moment. It's one point one three nine, and this is feet. 1.139 feet. Now we want to change this into inches. You just multiply it by 12 and this is your inches. 13.672 and that's inches. Now this is the same length we just have have it in a measurement of feet and or and and then we have it in the measurement of inches. Okay, now what we want to do is divide this by 16.97 divided by 16.97 equals because all all hips are they are they run on 16.97. Okay. And that equals point eight oh five. Okay, and what we do, 16.97, and we just circle that, just so we know what this, this number right here, 0.805 represents, and we don't forget, or so you don't forget. Now that we have discovered, we have figured out this entire triangle, and, and that gave us our hypotenuse for the run for the hip. Now what we can do is figure out what pitch the hip is going to be on. And the way you do that is, is real simple. You take this six six 
6.893 and you divide it by the inches of foot run for the hip divided by 13 point six seven two equals then you take this number and multiply it by sixteen point nine seven times sixteen point nine seven equals eight point five 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 eight point five 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 okay so we're going to write this here we're going to write a little graph here and this represents for our hip, the pitch for our hip. 8.555. Of course, this is 16.97. Now, all we have to do is do the Pythagorean theorem to get the, uh, the angle, the length, per 16.97 run of 8.55 rise and so we since we already got that in the calculator we just square that number 8.555 squared plus 16.97 squared equals and then square root and so the answer is 19 19 inches so for every 16.97, the roof goes out, it's going to go up 8.555 inches. And that's going to be, for each division of that, it's going to be 19 inches. So what we do now is we take this 19 inches and we multiply it times 8.5. I mean, 0 0.805 times 0 0.805 equals, and our and our answer is 15.29 eight. So 15.29. And that's inches. All right. Now we want to change this. We want to change this into feet. You just divide it by 12. And that's 1.274. Okay. And that's feet. All right. Now, so we got the length of our hip. And I'm showing you, I'm going to show you this graph again. The length of our hip goes all the way now you see this one going right to the corner but on a mixed 12 pitch this this hip would actually be coming to be swinging to this side it would be swinging to this side it wouldn't be going straight to the corner because that would be 45 degrees so the hip would be swinging closer to the 12 12 side so it'd be sitting on the same wall plate it wouldn't be sharing going right on the corner all right so now what we do, we want to figure out what the length of this rafter is here, okay? Which is very easy. Because 12, 12 is 16.97, okay? 16.97, that means for every foot that you're going out and you're going up, the hypotenuse for each one of those divisions of 12, 12, 12 inches of rise, 12 inches of run is 16.97. And that's, that's, that's why you know, that's why you know that all these hips here are on 16.97 because whenever you have a 90 degree corner, yeah, you're, you're basically just dividing up a 90 degree corner, basically. So you just go with 16.97. So, um, I don't know if you understand that, but if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Or if that's not clear, let me know. Drop me, uh, drop me a, a, a message in the message box, and, and I'll I'll deal with it promptly. 
Okay, now the other thing. So we got 16.97, and we want to multiply that 16.97 times 0.574. So let's do this. I think 0.574 is still stored in the computer. Recall one. Yep, it is. Times 16.97 equals. Okay, our answer is. 9.7 let me see 9.747 okay so that's 9 inches okay and we want to change that into feet by dividing it by 12 equals Point eight one two feet. Okay, so now we got our complete length of our rafter from total length from here to the wall height to the building line. So this right here represents a ridge here. Just in just in case, just in case you're wondering. This is like a ridge here, okay? All right? The 12 12 rafter stops here. Your measurements are coming from here, all right? This is the complete length of the rafter, and that represents this measurement here, from here to here, all right? So we got the length of our common. We got the length of our hip. We got the length of our king common. Somebody could start cutting these rafters here while we figure out get our staging all built up or scaffolding built up uh ceiling joists all rolled and and blocked in and plywood up on the roof or however you want to do it and so and then what we do is start getting prepared so we can cut our jacks now I want to show you something here, but I want to show you in part four of Master Carpenter series. Mixed pitch, bastard pitch, roof framing and design. See, when you know these techniques right here, you can design roofs. You can you have a lot more flexibility when you know the math that's behind this stuff. Uh, and you don't have to rig up stuff and all of this kind of stuff. You don't have to. You don't have to jerry-rig up all these different things. See, when you know these techniques here and you got the concepts down, you can really figure out problems. You could troubleshoot really quick because you know what to, you, you know what you're doing in essence. So what else I was gonna say? Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll cover the rest in part four.